They did it. I've always been fascinated with the fact that you can always make things smaller. Already back in 2015, I used to run an app that would kind of do the same thing that was called Boardwalk. And I would just try to run Minecraft Java on my really old ass tablet. This thing was running Minecraft at 5 FPS and I was happy because it was way better than my laptop. But now I got my phone and it just runs Minecraft perfectly. I don't even have to complain. I can just go in multiplayer, play my own server or play Hypixel from my fucking phone. I just turn on whatever I need. Let's put the MC key keyboard, the MCP item bar and joystick or whatever. And then now I can just click on join. I said, click on join. Click on join. No. A few minutes later. There I go. How cool is this? You can just, hey, hey, hey. All right, I'm just gonna change my control so I can jump uh, on the sneak button. Cause for whatever reason, the space thing is the sneak button. Just so you see, I'm running at a constant 60 FPS on Hypixel on my phone. Even this huge ass Whatever this is, cannot handle it. Look at the FPS. 8 FPS. 24. It's a huge laptop. Look at the size. And this runs way better. It runs in 4K on my phone. It runs not even in 1080p. It's like not even HD. I mean, it doesn't run perfectly. Sure. Like, I can't even run 1.16 on this for whatever reason. But, I mean, it makes sense. Because it's not just you move the thing here and you install it on your phone. There is one, at least one person that was like, Yo, dude, I'm going to run Minecraft on my phone. But like the thing is that there's been a lot of projects, but like that's the first time I see one that runs that well. Like the Boardwalk one was like running at 5 FPS on... Oh, shit. Well, goodbye, Dumag. It was running at 5 FPS on this. Like here, I can legit just put my phone there, get an adapter. And even though there's like still the cursor and it looks weird, I can just play like on my PC. Like here, I can just go around and if I want to, I can just start and play some Skywars and I'm not even running up to find there. So like I'm not even getting the best performances I could get. I'm just sad that I can't really like put my mouse on the screen and it doesn't move out. So like it's kind of acting weird, but like you can play for whatever reason. There's some stuff that like don't work as it as expected. Like the button two of my mouse, like it doesn't do button two, but like I can just go like, I don't know, V as a use item and C as attack. And now let's just try and play some Skywars. Like with some little improvements that could actually be playable, which is just so weird. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> this is so weird. Uh. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Okay, I'm not the best at Skywars anyways. <laughs> I don't even know what just happened to me, but like I could just plug an HDMI and then put it on my on my TV, my like a screen or whatever. I try to think about are we gonna be one day able to run everything from this small piece or even like smaller? Like, could I install Windows on my phone? Well, I mean, technically, I know that I couldn't on this one because uh, of some hardware stuff like AMD ARM uh, x86-64. I'm not going to get in details because, uh, first of all, I would probably say shit, okay? And second of all, because it's yeah, kind of complicated to explain, but basically, the, the hardware that is inside of this could not really run your PC it's just some kind of incompatibility. But if we really wanted to, if our phone were designed for that, technically we could. And I mean, I can run Windows on my phone, but it wouldn't really be that usable. Or I could run it as a virtual machine, which which like would just be a mess. That's a lot of stuff that I don't even understand properly myself. Uh, so I don't want really want to get into it. I know that it's possible if we really wanted to, but not with the hardware that is inside of it right now. So if we want to get into the background of this app, it is buggy, but we have to understand that it's a lot of work because the game was not ma made to run 
on this type of hardware. That's why Minecraft Bedrock Edition exists. It would technically be possible to run Minecraft Java Edition on your phone, like a hundred percent, without any bugs or with the bugs of the original Java Edition. But it would be a lot of work for the people that actually like created this project because you have to like for android phones it's not like iphones there's like a bunch of different hardwares and like some features might work on a phone and not on another and it's just another huge mess i would like to thank zuo wei dang for like making the original project boardwalk which was the first version basically of that app which was then abandoned and took back by uh aof dev on github and cosin math I think. And Long Junyu. If you want to try the app, I will put the link in the description. Uh, it's pretty easy to install. You just get the APK file and you just download the, the runtime and you just import it there. And then after you just select your version and stuff. Just remember, the people that are working on that are not Minecraft developers. Like they're just working on that on, on, on their free time. So that it's normal if it's buggy, because it, Minecraft Java is not meant to run on your phone. But if you want to try it out, you can. I just wanted to share that with you. That's that. That's it.